So if you ever wanted to learn how to make some eye-catching, vibrant photos for your Poshmark header, your Poshmark signs, maybe your social media content, then just keep watching because we are going to be using a free platform that you're just going to love. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Adrienne Jewell. I am a part-time reseller with the Poshmark app and I also sell on Mercari and eBay. Today's video was actually a request from one of you and that is how to make a header for your Poshmark closet using Canva. And while we're doing that, we're going to be making some signs for your Poshmark closet. So those three for 30 or four for 50, I don't know, whatever sales that you're going to be running. Uh, Mother's Day is actually this Sunday, so maybe you'll be running a sale this Sunday and you might need this for that. Um, so yeah, you can make your signs and also post them on social media. So wherever you wanna put these pictures, you can definitely post them on any website, any social media platform in Poshmark. So if you ever wanted to learn how to make some eye-catching, vibrant, photos for your Poshmark header, your Poshmark signs, maybe your social media content, then just keep watching because we are going to be using a free platform that you're just going to love. The Poshmark header or your banner is something that your potential buyers are going to see as soon as they access your closet. So you want to make sure that it's definitely eye-catching, vibrant, but also speaks a little bit about you. Now it just so happens I need to update my banner. It's kind of a little simple on the simple side right now, which is cool, but I do want to upgrade it a little bit and try to make it a little bit more fun, maybe a little bit more about me. So we're gonna do that while we're using my phone. Alrighty, so as soon as you download your Canva app, you can access it and immediately you're going to see so many options that you have. So you can create logos, business cards, flyers, posters, your Instagram story, type of things, Twitter posts. So for the Poshmark banner, uh, what we're going to be using is the Facebook cover option, which is something that I found uh, fits the best for Poshmark. So there's several options here. So there's a fall, birthday, beauty, summer, autumn, makeup, spring, wedding, and winter Facebook covers. So for this one, I'm just going to take a look at all of them and then scroll through my options to see which one I like best. So, you know, you have so many options. Definitely find one that are that's free. You'll notice that there are some that you do have to pay for, but usually they're very, very low cost. So if you really like it, you can definitely purchase it. But for the most part, there's so many free options. So I'm just going to keep it simple for now and I am going to select one that just has a picture because I already have an idea of what I want and I want to use my own picture. Now if I didn't want to use my own picture, then um, this program, Canva, also has some stock photos that you can choose from, both um, free and some that are very low cost, low cost for you. So I am going to choose, uh, let's see, I'll just go with this one. So this graphic here is probably not one that I would choose for my closet. Obviously it, it's, it looks more, it doesn't look fashion related at all, but that's okay because I can change it. So if I just tap on the picture in the background there, now it gives me some options. Do I wanna choose a picture from my gallery or if I click on that image tab, it allows me to select some images that Canva has. There's a color option, so if I want a solid color in the background, I can choose that too. And I can apply filters to the existing graphic that's there. So I'm going to look for an image just to kind of show you what you might see. So let's say I want clothing because that's what I'm selling. I sell clothing. Um, so the ones with the little crown icon are the ones that you would have to pay for. The others are free. So keeping that in mind, uh, that'll help me choose what I want. Something that you'll want to also keep in mind is that Poshmark will put a gray haze over your graphics. So you want to keep with the bright and vibrant vibe because if you choose something that's already dark with Poshmark's gray haze that they put over your header or banner, whichever, whatever you want to call it, um, 
that'll make your graphic a little bit harder to see. So keep that in mind, stay on the bright side and you'll be okay. So I'm going to choose just for this, this example, let's go with, um, let's go with this one here. So that's pretty cool. It's a, it's a rack of clothing and you can see that the top and lower portions are cut off, which is fine, but you can also change it to where you can reposition the photo so that you can see more of the top or bottom, whatever you prefer. And then I'm going to change the text here. So if I just click on the text, it gives me options down below to change the text. So I'm going to change that to my Poshmark closet. Now keep your text a little bit low um, size. So if I put that keyboard away and click on the number next to the font, I can reduce my font size or increase it. And I find that because when you move from the app to desktop, um, your banner or header will be stretched out. So your font will be enlarged. And if you choose a huge font, and that'll just take over your whole banner. So I find that keeping to about 40 or 45 font size is best. So I'm gonna just change it to 45 and I'm gonna move it to the right a little bit. The reason I'm moving it to the right is because my picture, my about picture, the meet the posher picture, <laughs> that one is going to be on the left side. So I don't want my closet name to be blocked out. So I'm just changing it over to the right just a little bit. And I think I'm done for this example. So I'm just going to hit download, which is at the top right. So hit the download button. And I like that there's a little quote in the bottom as you're waiting for your image. So I'm all done. It's asked me, what do you want to do? Now I want to go to my Poshmark closet. If I go to my closet, you can see I don't really have anything too extravagant right now. I kind of changed this a little bit earlier just so we can go through this together. Um, so sorry, I did that a little too fast. <laughs> you click on your about button at the top and click on edit in the top right. Now you'll see a little camera icon with a plus sign in it. So you're going to click your plus sign. And now it's saying, do you want a picture? No, I don't want a picture of my scary self. So we're going to do, go to my gallery and then choose that image that I just created. So I'm gonna hit next to update it. And if I go back to my closet, now you can see my image. And if I go to my PC, I can see it too. It will be stretched a little bit. You might see that the top and the bottom might be um, cut off a little bit too, just because it's trying to make it a slimmer banner for you, for your posh closet. So just keep those in mind. I would have my computer in front of me as I'm making this, just to make sure that it looks exactly the way I want it to look, both on my phone, the tablet, and um, also the PC. So keep those in mind, but this one's pretty good and we're going to stick with this for now and I'll probably change it later, but we're just going to keep that for now. Alrighty, so now that we have completed our Poshmark banner, our header, we are going to move on to a sales site and because we need it to be a square photo, I'm going to use an Instagram post option or Instagram post template. So when I launch Canva, at least as of today, it's on the very right side. Um, so just keep scrolling until you find the Instagram post option. And if you notice through all the other options that it gives you, all the template options, there's one for a sale. So I'm going to click on that. And then just keep scrolling until you find one that you absolutely love, one that speaks to you and one that represents your closet the best. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling until I find one that I like. And doo -doo -doo -doo, let's go with, actually I did use this one um, for my three for 30 sale. So we're just gonna use this one again. And so basically you just click on the options or the items that you want to change. And so I'll just kind of say, I don't know, surprise. So <laughs> you just play with your words. I don't know, you probably be better at it than I am, but. I'm just gonna say it's another three for 30 sale. And surprise sale. And then I'm going to put my name down below, my closet name at least, just so that people know this is my sale. 
not somebody else's. It's not happening everywhere. And so I don't like that tiny font, so I'm going to change that. My favorite font so far in this app is the playlist script. So I use that for everything. And I'm going to make my text a little bit bigger. Maybe bring this up just a smidge. And let's see. Ooh, why did it go small? And okay. So make it go just a little bit. Let's center it a little bit. Okay, so it's a three for 30 sale. Maybe I'll just put limited time, something like that. But it's just so easy to do. And if I don't like that, that graphic in the back, I can definitely change it to something else. So I can change it to an image that's within Canva. So maybe I don't want a sunflower, maybe I want a rose. So I can change it and just select something that I like. Um, I think that one's a little too plain, so let's try a different rose. How about this one? No, this one. That one's cute. But that uh, lettering up above is kind of drawn out now and I need to change this. So yeah, so definitely play around with it. I mean, there's so many options that it gives you. I don't like that it's kind of off center, so. There we go, looks a lot better. All right, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna stick with this. I'm going to hit the download button. And the best way to predict your future is to create it. Abraham Lincoln, I love that they put those little quotes there as you're waiting instead of like a little spinning wheel or something, because then you're like, what's going on? It should be downloaded by now. But yeah, I'm going to use that sign for whatever I need to. I can share it through um, my Instagram and I can share it on Poshmark or put it in my story and it will definitely look very good. So that's the app version. I'm going to move on over to my PC so that you have an idea of what the differences are um, from the app to the PC. So let's gonna get on over to my computer now. Okay, I just wanna quickly show you that you can make the same edits that you are making on the app on your computer so you get access to the same templates. I personally just like the PC version just because I can use my mouse and have access to my larger screen so it makes it a little bit faster for me. So we're gonna do another Instagram post for the sale sign. So I'm just going to scroll through all of the all of the graphics here just to kind of see if there's something that screams out to me and usually I like things that are very girly I like things that are pink I like things that are purple maybe got some flowers going on so I'm just scrolling through to see if there's anything that jumps out to me and just for the sake of time <laughs> so you're not sitting here forever I'm just gonna choose this one and it has some pretty flowers so I'm just going to put that I'm having a 50% off sale which is not the case right now, but let's just say I'm having a 50% off sale. So I can customize this by putting my Poshmark uh, closet name. And let's say I don't like the background. Maybe I like something that's, maybe I would like something that's more natural. So you can search through the elements tab to find some other graphics. A lot of them are free. Some of them, just like the app, have a very low cost. So like a dollar here and there, maybe $2. So very low cost if you like something that is not free and that you, you like to use it for your for your sale sign. So I found this one. It's got the sparkly lights in the background, so I'm okay with this one. <laughs> Normally though, tans and wood colors are just not my thing, but you know, this one's this one's okay. I'll be okay with this one. So you can play with your font position, your graphic position, and um, if you're using a lighter background, I would recommend making your font darker or vice versa. If you have a dark background, use a lighter font like it was before. So I'm gonna change this to black and then my Poshmark name also make it darker just because you want people to be able to see your text. Um, you can add text too if you need to. So maybe you're having a sale on seasonal items or items within a certain price range. Um, maybe items that have a certain icon, 
just make sure that you are including the information that tells people what is on sale and maybe how long the sale is. So I'm going to put in a date here, um, June 10th through June 17th. And this is all just made up. I'm not having a sale, at least to my knowledge, uh, um, <laughs> uh, during this time frame. Maybe I'll change my mind later. Who knows? I'm always playing around with my closet. So yeah, definitely try to play with the fonts, play with the different features. You can play with this, uh, the spacing of your letterings, play with the font size, just to make sure that someone can see your sale information as they're scrolling through their feed or as they're scrolling through your closet. So I definitely do this all the time and this is how I've come so fast with the app and the um, PC version just by trying things out. So yeah, when you're all done with all of your designs and all your edits, then you can go to the top right corner and hit the download button and it downloads as a PNG file. So from there you can download or upload it to your website, your Poshmark closet, your social media sites, wherever your little heart desires. That is it for this week's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions or any other video suggestions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I like to make content that helps you. So definitely let me know how I can help you out. But until next week, until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful sales week and lots of sales days ahead.